Welcome to Baller or Bust, where we test FIFA cards so you don't have to. Today, we've got ourselves Team of the Season Moments, Marco Royce, one of my favorite players of all time. What a card this is. It looks really, really good. It goes for 314,000 coins via SBC. He's got 4-star, 5-star. He's got a unique body type, high med work rates. He's right-footed with controlled acceleration. If you want to make him explosive, you can use an artist or finisher. Finisher is the better option of the two. I tested him today on a Hawk, so he was controlled. But if you do want him explosive, you can put a finisher on him, and I think he'll still be really good. I just like the Hawk personally because of that physicality boost, just to give him a little bit extra physicality. But a finisher gives him really good shooting and dribbling, so it's kind of your own personal choice there. Both are good. Kind of depends if you want explosive or not. Pace-wise, he's got 97 acceleration, so I, you know, I can only imagine if he has explosive acceleration and 97 acceleration, he's going to be very quick. Um, even now, with the controlled acceleration, he was pretty fast once once he kind of got moving a little bit. you know, Once he got past those first two steps, he, he accelerated pretty quickly. This is the squad we used him in. We actually played him as a cam in a 4-2-3-1. We switched in game. We'll start with the pace. I just kind of talked about it already, but he is pretty quick. Those first two steps aren't as fast when he doesn't have the uh, explosive acceleration style, but even on control, I didn't really see it as a problem. Shooting, really good shooting in the box. He's got five-star weak foot. I didn't see anything wrong with the shooting. I think he maybe missed one out of like 20 chances that I had with him in terms of like miss, like missing that, just like a really bad shot. I th he's super consistent shooting. Long shots as well, actually pretty good. He had a really good long finesse shot for me. It's in this video. He does have finesse shot and outside the foot shot. His outside the foot long shot wasn't great, but inside the box he was really good. So don't, you know, from the right side, if you're shooting cross body outside the foot from distance, it wasn't great. But if you're finessing from the left side, it was pretty good in terms of long shots. In terms of actually in box finishing, he was good from anywhere and with both feet. Passing, really good passing. He's got 90 everything except for long passing his through balls were perfect you know there's some cards where like their through balls just somehow always get intercepted his were always just on the dime perfect you know getting past the defender dribbling really good left stick dribbling was super solid he's got 99 agility he's got 99 agility when you have finisher on him but if I, on his base card you get 91 agility 90 balance all 90 plus dribbling stats with 94 composure but yeah his dribbling was super good I really like skilling with him. Super su super smooth stepovers and the, I think heel to heel is what it's called. That was super smooth. You can see here, look at this banger finesse. Pretty far out. Very nice. Physicality. Great stamina. His strength is 83, which isn't bad at all. He does have 70 aggression. I didn't notice a problem with his physicality. Uh, there wasn't any times where he got pushed off too easily. I mean, maybe by like the super big defenders, by like Ramos and, and Diaz, he'll get pushed off by. But in general, his strength is definitely enough to hold up. I really like about that central cam because he's not like an explosive wide winger, but he's still very quick. He can help out defensively, and he plays a really good through ball. And I think cam is the perfect spot for him. He's got the long shots. He makes good runs. His AI positioning was also great. He was always open, always making a good run. You know, if, if he was back, he was he was covering. Just a really good card, really all-rounded card. Kind of remind me of Saka, but more of a, a central version of that card in a way. It's kind of a weird comparison, but like he's like the central version of Asaka. Asaka's really good at wide. He can do it all. Royce can do it all, and he's more of a central player as a central cam. Really good card. Definitely worth it. Let's go.